hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 19 of api testing series and today we are going to talk about basic authentication and digest authentication and the difference between them and i'll show you the example as well using postman how we can uh, how basically it works uh, internally right basic and digest authentication so uh, in the previous video like in part 14 if you visit my channel and uh, this api testing tutorial so in part 14 i have already uh, talked about the insights of authorization and authentication in apis so if you haven't watched that video then please uh, i would recommend first go through this video so that you can understand what do you mean by authorization and authentication today i'll show you the examples of uh, basic and digest authentication so let's get started so what is basic authentication so the similarity between uh, basic and uh, digest authentication is that like uh, in both the uh, in both cases we are providing username and password we are giving the username and password but there are some uh, differences as well so let's talk about what is basic authentication first and then we'll talk about digest authentication so it is uh, i have written some notes over here so it is http it is an http supported authentication it relies on the user agent browser to provide the username and password fields for the user to fill out correct and it is called the basic authentication and it as it sends credential in plain text or encoded in B base 64 so either it will send in plain text or it will be encoded in base 64 so these are the two things uh, when we talk about the basic authentication so this is the format of basic authentication like uh, i'll show you when we run the api when we send the url uh, request to url then automatically once it is uh, like authenticated then we'll see this authorization will be uh, this header will be created in the api right so i'll show you this is the format like authorization and we have basic and credentials username and password so this will be this will be created internally this is how it will send to the server and then authenticate the username and password so this is an example of basic authentication so let me show you on front end first so if you fire this url it will ask for uh, this one right pop up username and password so the username is admin and password is admin i'll give this example this example url in the description box of this video uh, along with username and password so that you can use it click on sign in and then i'll be able to access this uh, website right basic authentication congratulations you must have the proper credentials right and the same thing is for uh, uh, digest authentication as well with which we are going to discuss so let's uh, let's check how it works basically using postman right so let me just yeah let's copy this and go to postman we have already created a collection over here authorization and authentication so here only i'll create another request add request and here i'll put basic authentication and this is the url save it let me send it without uh, providing the uh, header first like authorization first so we have to select here basic auth right so there is no username and password over here so save it and let me try to send it let's see what will happen so here we got not authorized and here you can see 401 unauthorized message right so from here if you go to authorize tab so here we have basic authorization like we have last time we have seen bearer token api key are there and no auth if you don't uh, have any authorization for this particular api if you don't need so you need to select like no auth we have some other uh, things as well like jwt uh, bearer so similarly we have basic auth here we need to select that and provide admin and password as admin save it and send it now here you can see 200 ok message we got right and uh, this the response we got in html format because this api that this is what 
it is designed like uh, in HTML format, right? To be, to get the response, and uh, you'll see uh, here some message as well like congratulations. You must have we have the prom uh, proper credentials. I think we got the same message here as well. So the same thing, we got the message here in the response. So this is authenticated and we got the result. And coming to this head header part, so if you see authorization, it is showing like so this it is created automatically right authorization basic let me show you without uh, giving admin and like username and password before that send it so we got non not uh, authorized and if you see in the authorization section header section you will see basic like you will see this blank value something like this right and once you provide the values here like uh, admin and password as admin send it again you'll see that header will be created like this basic and this is the b base 64 encoded value so how we get this value right so i'll show you also how it will how you can encode your password to base 64 format right so just google it base 64 encode go to this particular link and uh, what i'll do uh, what is our username admin colon admin so this is the format guys uh, for this one like basic username colon password right so if you give like admin colon admin here because our username is admin and password is admin and simply click on this encode button we'll get the same encoded value over here like uh, the way we got here right in the API so we got the value here YWRTA so here you can see YWRTA the same value we got here so this is how you can encode your password and uh, so this is about the uh, basic authorization now let's talk about uh, the second one which is digest authentication so this is another type of HTTP, uh, HTTP supported authentication considered a bit secure than basic. It is little bit secure than basic authentication as it sends the hashed password over the server instead of plain text one along with the other values. So it sends, uh, sends some other values as well along with the hashed password. So what is ha password hashing right password hashing so here so this is normal password we are sending and uh, using hash function it will be converted to the hashed password which is very complex so this is bit secure than the uh, basic authorization so now let me show you here uh, we have example of digest authentication as well just put the url on the browser why it is not working here uh, something is wrong let me try here anyway let's try through postman whether it is uh, working fine there or not so this is basic authorization and uh, i'll create another request add request and this time this should be digest auth and here I'll put the URL save it and if you come to authorization part here we have to select without selecting let's see what happens so send it so we'll get I think 401 unauthorized right so we need to provide the authorization through which one which key digest authorization and let me try to send it again We'll get 401 authorized same message right so here we need to provide the username and password the way we have done in uh, basic authorization so just provide a username and password and click on send so you'll see we got a 200 ok message correct and here also it will be uh, we got the congratulation you must have proper credentials like that we got digest authorization Maybe something I think it is blocking here. I don't know uh, 
what is the problem i'll check it this i'll check this later on from the front end but here we got the success message right we have provided the uh, authorization basic authorization and if you see the headers it will not coming like basic authorization over here it will not add a like sorry a, a digest authorization over here in header it provides this uh, username and password internally using hashed format right and uh, along with that it provides some other values as well advanced advanced configuration so we have seen in the definition like uh, it provides uh, sends hash password over the server instead of plain text one along with the other values so these are the other values it provides internally advanced configuration like real m nonce some these are the some other values it provides when we send uh, through when we send the request through digest authorization so this is the so this is about uh, basic and digest authorization and another one is here like uh, we got one checkbox here yes disabled retrying the request so if you check this checkbox then it will not allow these values to be sent right so what happens is we'll get uh, unauthorized some error let's see you can see for not one unauthorized we got right so uncheck this one save it and send it again so it will take this username and password from the digest authorization yeah so we got 200 okay message so this is all about today guys uh, let me know if you have any uh, further questions on basic authentication or digest authentication and uh, going further will uh, i'll give you some more examples on other authorization like uh, OAuth 1.0, OAuth 2.0 as well and some other authorization as well. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel then please subscribe it. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.